Welcome to Nine. I'm the executive chef, Jesse Fulton here. I've been at Nine now for five years, um, since Nine opened. It's, uh, it's exciting. It's, uh, it's a challenge day in and day out. I like to have people that want to have fun while working, and uh, people really want to work at Nine, and I think that we've, we've achieved that. Um, I love being around the food. I love the creativity side of the, being a chef. I like working with the public. Um, I think we're most known for our, our great prime steaks. I just like how our menu is, you can uh, piece together your, your own sort of a la carte dinner. And that's probably the most fascinating thing about Nine. And, like my fiance loves when I cook for her, so. I'm from central Pennsylvania, so I love things like fried chicken and meatloaf, and I like to make baked macaroni and cheese, sort of things like that. Our newest dessert here at Nine is the Cloud Nine, we call it. It's, uh, we're making cotton candy and we serve homemade ice cream cones on a cloud of cotton candy. One of my favorite things that to uh, prepare here, or tastiest things that I think is broiled calamari appetizer. This is something you could do at home. And what I like to do is we clean this calamari first and uh, make sure there's no, uh, the ink sacs are out of it. There's a piece of cartilage that sometimes is in the middle of it. We take that out. Since we're gonna broil this calamari in such intense heat, we like to keep it in kind of nice big pieces. The tentacles, we keep those whole. And the tubes, we like to cut in just a couple big, thick pieces like this. Probably a teaspoon of garlic for seven, I think it's seven tubes and seven tentacles. Probably a tablespoon of fresh chopped parsley. We like to use a, cor a coarse uh, kosher salt and some sea salt we use as well for finishing items here. I like to use a nice unfiltered extra virgin olive oil. This is something you can marinate ahead of time. Um, what you do have to be careful of is there's oil in this calamari, and if your broiler's gonna be hot, you want it hot. That's why we're doing the broiler, so we have the nice char on the outside of the calamari. It will also catch on fire and flame up, so you kinda, kinda place it on there, and then don't shove it right back under the heat. Not right away. What we like to garnish this with is some diced tomatoes and arugula. So we're gonna dice some tomato here. I like to do it like this, cut into quarters. We got our tomatoes. And I have some uh, nice fresh wild arugula here. So we're gonna turn this one time. This fast cooking method also helps you not to overcook the calamari so it doesn't get rubbery. Your tomatoes and your arugula are all gonna go into like a, you can use a non-stick saute pan, might be nice if you have that at home. Season the, the arugula and tomato with again with the extra virgin olive oil. A little bit of lemon juice. Some of that coarse salt. Some cracked pepper. Now we're starting to eat that nice color on that calamari that we were looking for. We're gonna throw this all in here together. This warm calamari is gonna wilt the arugula. Sort of warm up the tomatoes. The juices will start coming out of them. We're gonna throw this up here. It'd be essentially like throwing it in your oven. You can also put it on top of the stove for a minute if you like, you don't wanna turn your oven on. It's a real tasty appetizer. Sort of a rustic little Mediterranean style preparation of calamari. Um, a lemon wedge is always nice. You can't get enough extra virgin olive oil. There you have it. Broiled calamari nine style. I think when people leave nine, they should feel like they were uh, in a complete dining experience. They felt special. Um, we, we met or went above their expectations. Saturday night's a little crazier. You know, people dress to the nines, as we like to say sometimes. You know, it's kind of turned, it turns into a pretty sexy night here. The best clientele comes out to have the most fun. We do have quite a few celebrities that come in and out of here, and that's also another joy of working at nine. I got to hang out with Dave Matthews one time here a couple years ago. That was real cool. If you really enjoy cooking and something that you're considering doing, you should get out there and work. I think work experience is real key, but always looking to expand my horizons as a chef, you know. Taste is, a, is more important above and beyond presentation. Because if it doesn't taste good, it doesn't really matter what it looks like.